Today we're going to read from Luke chapter 10, a portion of verse 20. It says, Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you. Uh, he titles this, The Warning Against Wantoning. Um, okay. Uh, as Christian workers, worldliness is not our snare. Sin is not our snare. But spiritual wantoning is. Take the, take the pattern and print of the religious age we live in, making eyes at spiritual success. Uh, never court anything other than the approval of God. Go without the camp, bearing his reproach. Jesus told the disciples not to rejoice in successful service. And yet, this seems to be the one thing in which most of us do rejoice. That sounds right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it does, doesn't it? I mean, we all want... the success, I guess. Uh, we have the commercial view. So many souls saved and sanctified. Thank God, now it is all right. Our work begins where God's grace has laid the foundation. We are not to save souls, but to disciple them. Salvation and sanctification are the work of God's sovereign grace. Our work as his disciples is to disciple lives until they are wholly yielded to God. One life wholly devoted to God is, more, is of more value to God than a hundred lives simply awakened by his spirit. Oh, that was pretty profound. Um, as workers for God, we must uh, reproduce our own kind spiritually, and that will be God's witness to us as workers. God brings us to a standard of life by his grace, and we are responsible for reproducing that standard in others. Unless the workers live a life hidden with Christ and God, he is apt to become an irritating dictator instead of, a, instead of an indwelling disciple. Many of us are dictators. We dictate to people and to meetings. Jesus never dictates to us in that way. Whenever our Lord talked about discipleship, he always prefaced it with an if, never with an empathic assertion. You must. Discipleship carries an option with it. I don't, I don't know, have we known that many people over the years that... We ain't known that many people over the years. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's probably been better that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're all involved. But you know, we have known, we have known some folks that like to make sure everybody knows how spiritual they are. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And the, you know, the Lord tells us you know, not to be like that, you know, just for our own good. You know, that's, that's basically do what you're told to do. You know, mm -hmm. Do it humbly and not don't, grumbly. No, not grumbly, right, right. That takes all the fun out of it. Um, this, I guess just wanting that spiritual success you know I know we all want to be successful That's, no we do um, nothing wrong with wanting to be success, successful <coughs> but what are the motives behind the success is yeah. it for man to see or is it to be close to God yep yeah, yeah. I think that's the, that's the thing right there is um We've got to keep, you know, like we talked about last time, keeping God the main thing. Mm -hmm. Not worry about what our fellow man thinks of us. Um, 
you know, and success is measured. Poorly, isn't it? It is. You it's know, because it's, it's measured through a worldly perspective, a yeah. fleshly perspective versus a spiritual perspective. Yep. Yeah. Even within the spiritual realm, you know, mm -hmm. either you've got those that have the prosperity gospel, so you're only spiritually prosperous if you're financially prosperous. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a pretty general rule of thought there. Well, I think you're right, <laughs> you know? but I, and it's, there's Bible to contradict that, you know, I mean, that's yeah. just, that's just not even Bible, and mm -hmm. it, so if you're basing your prospiritual health on non-biblical doctrine, you're in trouble already. You're in trouble, um, yep, yep. We, yeah, we should always strive to do our very best. Well, we should, right. but, you know, we... In our society, even people, at, as Christians, you know, they base the value of their children on their grades or on their accomplishments or their spouse on their um, position or themselves mm -hmm. on their position or their possessions. And Absolutely. We, when we do that, I mean, we're, we're, we do that from the very beginning because that's what's entrenched in us, you know, if we're, if we're observing things, other things. Uh, well, look how blessed they are. Yeah, you know, we see it on TV, we see it. Obviously, you're not very blessed, you know, look at you. Mm-hmm. So, or maybe they don't say that, but that's hey, how you feel. Let's it's, just say it like it is. We have had more than one we have had it had people come in though first of all, okay all right we've had people come in to our home who truly have wanted to fellowship and have blessed us and we in turn mm. have been able to bless them mm. and they've they felt comfort in our home and they have felt at peace in our home mm. we've also had those people that have come into our home that have looked down upon us because of the way that we live or the things that we don't have um, don't want <laughs> you know don't uh, strive to achieve such things mm -hmm. and have it, it there's been a condemnation there oh absolutely um, yep. Yep. the way that we dress the and it's not even from a modest perspective it's just simply because we're not wearing you know different clothes every time we're together or we're not wearing you know something that they deem should be suitable for whatever purpose mm -hmm. um, there's just there's it's almost like a spirit of condemnation that has engulfed not just our society but the mm -hmm. christian realm it's almost like a, a bite your nose off to spite your face and and we've gone the opposite direction at times we despise so much the, the prosperity mentality that we've bit our own nose off to spite our face but i see it because we, at times we've had a loathing for the, the idea of prospering. Um, it, to an extent, hear what I'm saying, mm -hmm. keep it in context. But it really is a, it's a mentality that is not just crept in, but it's, it's been and it's taken deep root. Um, about, we just, you know, the Bible says, talks about prosperity. The Bible talks about um, the Lord prospering what we put our hands to. And people keep that in a category that it must be monetary. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, yep. that's what they focus on because we can control to an extent, For the, most of us can control monetary. We can control if we work more, we can control what position we get, we can control if we have another right. job, you know, to all make it look like we're prospering. Mm -hmm. But if we step back and really just let God deal with it um, and let him determine are we going to be blessed that way are we not if we are are we going to be wise and handle it wisely and do it in honor of him if we're not are we going to still trust in him to provide our needs you know um, I just I think it's just one more one more area that is so easily manipulated by Satan and there's all types of like we fall for it every gullible, time. Yep. Yeah. But man yeah, man falls for it every time. Uh, another thing to keep us keep our focus 
we, we think we're focusing on God, but mm-hmm. we're really not. Mm-hmm. You know, we're chasing that carrot. Yep. Um, so, just, uh, I, I guess, uh, again, it goes back to keeping our focus on God. Mm-hmm. Um, what's important to us, um, keeping our focus on God, that's what's important to us. Let him take care of the rest. Amen? Amen. All right. Okay, let's wrap this one up. Father, we love and praise you. <clears throat> and we, just, we do thank you so much for your goodness, Lord. And Father, I pray that you would you know, truly help us to, just, again, stay so focused on you, Lord, and allow you to work things out. Just just want to, you know, do what you want me to do, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we love and we praise you today. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.